Peace, peace. Tasha, this one. And I'm just going to do a quick recap on the Super Bowl shit. Because I see a lot of you Negroes and a lot of you other people. You like, listen, you can believe what you want to believe. And I'm not here to prove nothing to you. I'm not here to break the illusions that's, be, that's being presented to you. I'm not here for none of that shit. You understand? I mean, for those who believe it, they believe it. But to those who sit on the couch every week and watch grown-ass men play football and you sit there five or six hours watching this shit or whatever and then you can't see through the lines that all these games this year went into fucking the last, the fourth quarter. Every game, yo, every game that I seen, every game that I seen this year went to the fourth quarter. Every game. Every game. Now, okay, there might have been some blowouts in the Super. I mean, in the playoffs. Okay, the Packers got blown out, as well as I think, um, I think it was the Cowboys that got blown out too. But that shit doesn't mean nothing. Okay, it all dealing with the big game. That's what it's been dealing with. The Super Bowl is the mega money for. It. Is when you're gonna get all of you. You're gonna get every football, every football fan that's in America and outside America to watch this game. Okay, it's not like regular games to where, you know, some people who's not a, a fan of that team is not going to watch it. If you a fan of football, you know, it's the last game of the year, everybody going to be watching the Super Bowl. And for the Super Bowl to go to fucking overtime, you know how much money they raked in on that? You understand? You know how much money they raked in on it. You guys still don't believe that the running back, I showed you the running back. He was sitting there looking on the other side of the field. Now, I made some references that, yeah, I played Madden before, but my references, I played fucking football for over 10, 12 years. So I know. I have seen fucking high school. That's the first thing they teach you. The running back is supposed to be looking. That's why he got his hands on his hip looking around. That how, how do a running back have such good vision when he's running the ball, but he don't have good vision when it comes to blocking the ball? Blocking is part of the running back position. They are a... a, a I don't know how many blocks blockers they had or whatever. I can't. I'm not going to count them. But I figure out of 11 men, you got maybe three wide receivers, a tight end, two wide receivers, and a running back. So we want to say seven. You got you got eight blockers with the running back. Okay, the running back is not going to miss a fucking blitz. And the way he was standing, like he wasn't even in position to fucking to make the block. Okay, and who who runs a shotgun when they only need one yard? Why would you do a shotgun? You only need one yard. Okay, now I seen another play that looked a suspect in which they was caught for the holding call right when they was in field goal range or whatever. You could clearly see the Patriot um why the Patriot um cornerback pulls the man face mask. You understand what I'm saying? And there's a lot of different other plays in there that look the suspect. I think the play that Julio Jones caught from Matt Ryan, Matt Ryan was trying to throw an interception because he threw the ball right to the dude. Just unfortunately, Julio Jones is just a little bit taller than him. I don't. That was a crazy pass. Why would you even throw um, a pass in that type of coverage? That was another suspect play. But listen, look. The more and more you do research in this. The more and more you find out that all of the first, I think, I figured the, the first seven teams or the first eight teams in the NFL, they was the, all their owners was gamblers, all of them, all the owners was gamblers, and the whole shit started over there. So they probably was throwing games back when they was playing in the fucking um the polo grounds. So look, man, I love football. I love the athleticism. I love to see brothers, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of these brothers got psychic abilities because they able to miss. They, how do you know people behind you? How do you know people behind you? You deep, you weaving, and then you break. Come on, man. You got to be a superhuman, a superhuman athlete to do some of the stuff that running backs do. But you guess what? These fucking owners is the motherfuckers in control of this shit. So they're going to throw for more money. And like I said, they just pass their money around anyway. And you motherfuckers, you honestly think that ain't none of these football games fixed, man. Ain't none of, none of them fixed. You know what I'm saying? We know that Super Bowl was fixed. There's no way Tom Brady coming back from the 12 to 28 lead with eight minutes left on the clock. It just is not logical. It's not logical to me. 
Because there's no way that you can fuck that up. You understand? Even after they had the fumble, they still was in field goal range. I guess the field goal range was to, to make y'all motherfuckers get more into your seats. Or, like, listen, they listen, they playing us, man. They playing us, man. They playing us. Ain't no football game. Like, that shit's supposed to have been a fucking blowout. I would have had my score of the Super Bowl would have been, I, I, I'm going to say 20. 20 to fucking maybe 50. 20 to 50 or 20 to 48 or something around there. You know, also, I, there's a lot of other videos out there. There's another young kid video in which they uh, um, advertise. They put across the screen that, the, that um, the Patriots won the Super Bowl and the Patriots didn't even score the, um, the touchdown yet. But they put that across the um, across the um, screen, you know what I'm saying, during while the game was going on. And there's a lot of videos up there. A lot of people were saying that. Though, but look, man, we know last year. They made Cam Newton take a fall. We know ain't no way in the world Cam Newton is staying in the pocket that long. Cam Newton was running all over niggas last year. So, so in the Super Bowl, he just, oh, he just gonna stand in the pocket? Come on, bro. He was told, he was told to throw that game. He was told to throw that game so fucking Peyton Manning can win. And Russell Wilson was told to throw that other game so fucking um Brady can win. So if you look, man, this shit is obvious, man. It's fucking obvious, bro. It's obvious. You know. The the one when the 49ers went against um Baltimore, the fucking lights went out for 33 minutes. Come on, man. And then also the play where um the play where Atlanta got sacked, it was a I think it was a fourth and 33. That's what that's how many yards it was they needed. It was a fourth and 33. The last time they had the ball in the fourth quarter before they went to overtime. Oh, be, no, yeah, no. Before Brady got the ball and scored again. It was a fourth and thirty-three, bro. You understand? So, and then I think um, Matt Ryan threw the interception or whatever. But nonetheless, though, man, look, man, you motherfuckers put faith into. See, only, only, only people who got a lot invested in this will feel like these games is not fixed. I ain't got shit invested in this. You understand? My team is the the Oakland Raiders, right? And for years, I seen them. I know that the Super Bowl in which they went was fixed. It was the fucking um the pirate Super Bowl when Tampa Bay, which is a pirate, which was the Buccaneers, is a pirate, and the Oakland Raiders, which was pirates. It's a pirate Super Bowl. They gave the fucking game to Florida because they said that Jeb Jeb Bush held the um uh, um the election, the votes. You know, it's just conspiracy theory. But I seen a lot of shit in that game too that didn't make sense. You got old ass um. The fuck was the run the quarterback for um Tampa Bay, um Johnson Brad Johnson? What was his name? Brad? I think his name is Brad Johnson. He used to be Minnesota um um quarterback, but he was just a lot of backup quarterbacks for a lot of teams. He won that game. That shit was crazy, man. But look, man, I'm just telling y'all, man. Listen, I ain't no disrespect to anybody who Patriots fans or anybody who football fans. I'm just putting it out there, man. This shit was fixed, bro. And it's time y'all motherfuckers need to just get over it, man. It's like y'all need to get over this election shit with Trump, man. Let Trump do whatever he gonna do, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas running around here voting me, um, fucking protesting and shit. You should have been protesting against George Bush, but that's another story, man. I'm out, man.